Wow, I have nothing to say. <laughs> they, they said it all. <laughs> but I'll review briefly. Who is Jesus? Christ of God. The short answer is the Christ of God. But that's that's a big answer. That's very encompassing. It encompasses everybody here. Jesus is what you need. He is what you're looking for. He is the answer to your life, Amen. to your agonies, to your dilemmas, to your directionless, to your loneliness, to your emptiness. Jesus is the answer. Amen. That's, in short, the meaning of Christ of God. We have to study the Bible from Genesis to Revelation to really more deeply appreciate who Jesus is. So Jesus calls us, if anyone would come after me, he must deny himself or herself. I'm sure Jesus included women in his call. <laughs> and take up his cross or her cross and follow me. It sounds burdensome when we only think of those words. Whoa, take up a cross? Whoa, deny myself? Shepherd Tony uh, asked in his message, is it possible to deny yourself? <laughs> question mark? <laughs> but the question mark turned into a exclamation point. Were you watching carefully? Maybe you missed it. <laughs> but later in the paragraph, in his explanation through one missionary's struggle, remember his job was being outsourced, and he experienced he denied himself. He found joy and victory. So yes, it's possible to deny ourselves and experience God's blessing, peace and joy in our lives. Thank God for the message tonight and all the testimonies. Let's accept Jesus as our shepherd. Let's come to Jesus for rest. Remember our banner. We are the sheep. Come to Jesus and find rest. Then he gives us strength and joy to follow him, to deny ourselves. Actually, our crosses are very light. It's like that yoke in the opening message. It's easy and light. When we follow for Jesus, with Jesus, through Jesus, He gives us strength. Life is so joyful and enjoyable and wonderful and new. Day by day, when we follow Jesus, take up our cross and follow Jesus. The other option is, we don't take up our cross. Then what happens? Life is truly miserable, meaningless, boring. <laughs> I often hear that uh, in my household. I have uh, younger children. I'm so bored. <laughs> Life is so boring. <laughs> you don't have your cross. <laughs> <laughs> the drama that this depicted it so well last night, playing video games and, oh, this is the greatest game. Oh, this is so boring. <laughs> After 10 minutes, I've got to get a new game. Thanksgiving offering. Tomorrow we'll have Thanksgiving offering for the conference. And our offering will primarily go to, or perhaps entirely go to, um, the African Summer Bible Conference. <coughs> We're having a African continent conference, con continental conference in Kenya. But to travel to Kenya, for example, for a, for a shepherd from Zimbabwe, 
is $800 round trip. And the average income is $20 per month. So it, it takes 40 months of wages to travel just round trip to Kenya. Three and a half years of one salary, average salary. So we're offering our offering for African brothers and sisters to bless them to attend the conference and be blessed through the Word of God. And that's true of many, many nations, those coming from Nigeria, South Africa. So let's pray. Remember to pray for the African uh, International Conference and also the Latin American International Conference, both in August. Actually, the Latin American Conference comes first, so maybe pray for that one first. <laughs> and then the African Conference. But the offering will go to Africa. Please also pray for uh, the remaining two messages of this conference, Dr. Joseph Ahn Jr. and Shepherd David Hall. Pray for their messages. If you uh, remember to pray for their messages, you will really be blessed when you hear their messages. <laughs> because you prayed for them. I believe you will be blessed anyway if you forget to pray for them. <laughs> if you pray for them, you'll be more blessed. <laughs> and tonight, um, for those who are interested, uh, in this room there will be a uh, movie showing. The name of the movie is Time Changer. Has any, anybody seen this movie? Philip okay. Boyce, do you like it? Well, halfway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a highly recommended movie by Missionary Vivian and Shepard Allen. They watched it two times. And it really shows uh, the trend of Christianity in the last hundred years through a time machine movie. How long is the movie? It's an hour and a half. So 9.30, the movie will begin and finish at 11, because we have to leave the building at 11. But we will have snacks again uh, before that, or during that if you want, in the room next door. Uh -huh. So uh, remember, who is Jesus? My Savior. And in a personal way, he's my Savior. Someone said, she thought, her boyfriend was her savior. <laughs> you know, she's not the first person to ever say that. The Samaritan woman said that for five different men in the Bible. Even one of our great shepherdesses in Chicago, UBF, said she used to pray, Dear Todd, instead of Dear God. <laughs> so, it's happened many times. When they came to know Jesus as their true love in Christ, really their lives changed so beautifully. And it became a beautiful and abundant blessing to others, besides having joy in their own lives. So let's pray uh, with these prayer topics. Let's pray two by two. Yeah. especially for college students who are here. If, if you want to join in the song, it's, it's a simple song. Before the movie. So please join the song. Uh, at Easter, we, we were so impressed, we had a 17-member chorus. Maybe we can defeat that. So please join the song.